with another diamond painting unboxing. Now this one is continuing uh, the series of diamond paintings that I bought from Lao Ji Yuan most recently. And there were six of those. There were uh, f uh, three 30 by 40s that are part of a comparison of uh, what a square, round, and pebble drill diamond painting will look like uh, from this store. Now, they were not the same picture, the same image, because I couldn't bear to do three of the same image, but uh, they're very similar images. But this is something completely different. And this is in a 40 by 50. Now, the box is the right size. The shipping, the shipping, however, was not the best. And uh, it got really crunched. This, this shipment there were two different packages, um, each with three diamond paintings in it. And uh, each package arrived, well, the second package arrived a few days later than the first, but um, they were all equally crunched. So it's not as if the extra time in transit uh, translated into better um, care taken by the post company, the post, Canada Post and, and uh, China Post. Okay, so this one here is another one of my favorite um, kinds of images. You guys know that I like butterflies. So this is a butterfly on a flower. That's what I call it. Um, and it's a little bit creased, and that's because the box got so crunched. Now, they do wrap it around a little bit of a foam core and the drills. That didn't really help that much. So there we go. And then I'll show you the uh, kit that comes with it, the toolkit. So we get, um, this is the same toolkit as for all of them. Uh, a single placer pen with a cushy. Uh, a green boat with a cutout, no funnel, but a cutout. Uh, you get your little bit of wax and you get a big multi-placer. So that's good. I'm happy with that toolkit. And then you get the drills, which they package uh, individually in labeled Ziploc bags, uh, which I really appreciate. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is flatten this diamond painting out. Um, now. It has a plastic cover, so I usually would say I'm not worried about creases, but there are some very, very sharp creases in this diamond painting, um, in this canvas, so I'm a little bit concerned, actually, about whether I'll perhaps need to iron this. Um, I don't want to be ironing my diamond paintings, so I hope that I can... Um, flatten it out. All right. Now, as I've mentioned before, the plastic coating that Lao Ji Yuan uses on their diamond paintings is really, really thick. And um, it helps to flatten out the painting um, in the same way as paper covering to do on paper covered diamond paintings. Uh, okay, that's already better. It's not ideal though. I think I might have to iron it because that, when the diamond painting, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. So this, this crease here, some of these creases here, when the diamond painting is complete, I don't think I'm gonna frame this one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna frame this. I'm just gonna do it for fun, but um, this, I think, will show up. And maybe this one as well. So, this is one that needs to be ironed before I work on it. Alright, let me now pull this side back. I'm pulling up the, I'm pulling up the adhesive, which is not what I want to do. So 
I, I, I mentioned it in another diamond painting unboxing um, that I recorded yesterday, but um, I actually think that these are um, not cord gold. I think that these are double-sided tape. And I think that that explains why the plastic is so thick. It, uh, it's kind of like the same thickness as the paper that you would get on a paper covered double-sided adhesive um, diamond painting. Okay, so that's, okay, that's better. It's flatter, but yeah, I think I gotta take a, an iron to that. Too bad, because I don't like doing that. So this one here, I'm gonna show you the thumbnail. There we go. They're very soft colors. It's a pretty, it's a pretty picture. I like it with the yellows and the blues and stuff. Some oranges in there. It's very pretty. Um, it, it's not as vibrant as many of the ones that I choose. So this one has 19 colors, which is kind of in between in terms of the number of colors that we get with Lao Ji Yuan diamond paintings. They're not known for having the most colors, but um, I've been happy with the way my diamond paintings from them have turned out so far. I've done quite a few of them. Um, so, okay, so now I'm going to open up the drills and tell you about the diamond painting while I'm doing that. So I'm going to be talking over the crinkle. So this one here, like I said, I call butterfly on flower. I, uh, it's supposed to be 40 by 50. Let me measure that. Oh, no, I think it's 40 by 40 actually. Um, let me measure it. And, oh, interesting, this one is 39. Okay, Lao Ji Yuan is always pretty much spot on in terms of measurements. Uh, yeah, just, just shy of 39 and a half, so I would call it 49, 40 by um, 39, um, which is fine, that's, that's close enough. Um, It's a pebble round, and again, I got it from the Lao Ji Yuan store. Now, I paid $26.37 for this, and that was after some discounts. Um, the regular price for this is $28.36 Canadian before discounts, or $21.12 US before discount. Um, which for a diamond painting this size, with the quality of drills and the fact that you never have to worry about running out of drills, I'm very happy to pay that. This, if I diamond paint all day kind of thing, uh, this thing would take me, oh, easy four days to work on, maybe five. And so that turns out to be very, very reasonable uh, entertainment. So I'm not going to fuss about, um, about the price. I know you can get diamond paintings cheaper on AliExpress, but, um, but I know exactly what I'm getting when I buy a Lao Ji Yuan diamond painting. I am getting an amazing diamond painting uh, with good quality drills and I never have to worry about running out of drills. So I'm very happy to pay that little tiny, tiny bit extra that, uh, that I do. For these. So I'm just going to label this. This is my 213th diamond painting canvas. And it is 39 by 40. And it's pebble from Lao Ji. You are. Okay, perfect. Now, let me bring you down close so that I can show you the drills as I do inventory. 
Okay, so um, 19 colors that we have here, and I'm just going to do the inventory right on the legend. So 826, oh, let me turn on the flash. There we go. 826, this gorgeous blue. Five fifty, this deep purple. Thirty twenty four. Okay, I love thirty twenty four. I always talk about this one when I get it. So this is a black resin drill, and the silvering instead of being on the bottom like you get it for uh, normal crystal drills, they actually put the silvering on the top of the drill. So it's the facets that are covered in silver, and they're gorgeous. I love it. I love, love, love the effect of the silvering on top for the 3024s. That's the only color that does that, because as soon as you cover the top, that's your color there. So this is 535. What color is that? It's like a super deep gray. All right, and there's quite a few of them. And 741, this lovely orange. Thirty-three twenty-five, this pale, pale blue. Thirty seventy-eight, this beautiful sort of citrine color. And then we have this beautiful bright 947 orange. Here we have our 919, which is a sort of an orangey brown, almost a copper color. And here 704, this beautiful blue uh, green rather. And here we have a 746, which is, I'm trying to see the color of the drill. It looks like it's clear. So I guess that's, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, but it looks clear to me. 733, this sort of all um, olive color, light olive. 209, oh, there we go. 209, this soft sort of lavender. Seven twenty-five, this beautiful golden yellow. Seven twenty-five. We've got our eight oh three, which is a dark blue. Um, and by dark, I don't mean that it's an intensely dark blue, but it's kind of like a smoky blue. And then one of my all-time favorite colors, 797, which I consider violet. I don't know, they might call it something else. I think they might call it blueberry or something like that, but I like it. I like it a lot and I call it violet. Okay, and here we have 3865, which uh, also comes out kind of clear. Now 3865, as many of you know, is kind of like a whitish drill uh, in regular uh, drills. So, um, like it's an off, off white. And then we've got another blue. That's our 824. And 823, our navy blue. All right. So, I'm just going to run my finger down the list here. And as you can see, everything is ticked off. I have never not received a diamond painting or, or a color of drills uh, from Lao Ji Yuan. Uh, this store does inventory very, very well. I'm always happy with their inventory. Um, so anyway, I'm very happy with this diamond painting and I look forward to doing it and I might do a drill and chat with it. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, so that's it. That's my, that's my unboxing of the Butterfly on Flower from Lao Ji Yuan. It turns out that it's lovely. Uh, the crease that happened during shipping is not Lao Ji Yuan's fault. 
Um, I suppose if they had used a thicker foam pour, maybe that would have been, um, that wouldn't have happened, but you know, they, they, they do a pretty good job of packing and they send all of their diamond paintings in boxes, uh, which is really nice. So there you go, everybody. Very happy with this. Um, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you so much for believing in me enough to support my channel. And for my viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and visiting with me all the time. That's why I make these videos. It's so that you can enjoy, um, hopefully, you can enjoy uh, watching these unboxings and you know deciding whether maybe you want to get the same diamond painting. Uh, anyway, let me know. Is this something that you'd be interested in getting? Have you already gotten it? And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So take care, everybody, and I'll be back with you again really soon. Bye-bye.